Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. We are not starting where we left off in the last episode. We have a little guest here which we gotta have to um take care of. There we, there we go, he's been bugging me for quite a bit now. What's that? Oh, okay, I thought, was that? Is that a husk with a cake on his head? <laughs> But no, it's a zombie villager with the new textures on it. Okay, that made that made more sense. Okay, cool. Actually, give me the XP. Anyways, welcome back. We're picking up a little bit from where we left off in the last episode because I have been doing some planning and I have a plan for today's episode. Now, if you remember, we made this fish hut or shack over here. Oh dear. Quite a while back, and. Well, we are not really here to fish, but I just I just took the opportunity to um, to get some XP and a little bit of food as well, because why not? So now I am level 12, and from that I I did get some fish and some bones. So yeah, that's cool. Anyways, we're not here to fish today. What we are here for is some kelp, which is out here pretty close by. Now the reason why we need kelp is because today we are making a small but yet simple water elevator that goes from our, well, cave to our farm. So I just need like, I think, two. Yep, that, that, should, that should literally do it. Now I just need to check when we get to shore that these actually do what they're supposed to. Let's just park it right there. Yes, they do. Perfect. Um, actually, I think I might need some more than that, to be honest with you, because, yes, I need a lot more, actually. Okay, I don't have quite enough what I need. I need, probably don't need that much, but you know what, I'll just take a stack, then I have some extra as well. I think a stack should be more than enough. All right, we are back home. I have cleared out my inventory, except for the kelp. I've set some stuff to smelt, and yeah, I, I ran across some gold, so I might as well grab it. But yes, we are gonna make a water, ele water, water, water elevator going up. I think what's here? Or did I want to move it over one? I think I wanted to move it over there. There we go. <laughs> okay, we should be equipped to do this project. If, nope, wait, we need soul sand and we need magma cream. We might actually not have, not magma cream, but magma blocks. We need one soul sand and one magma block, which we don't have, so I will eventually, in, in the end of this, need to go to the nether and get some stuff. But let's just get started. We can do that as the last final thing. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, I'm going to have pillars going up here, like so, and I'm gonna upgrade this as well, like so. And you know what, probably to make it look nicer. Do that and we'll do some stuff over here in a moment. Uh, or at least later. Okay, I had to rethink some stuff over, but I think I this time got it. So let's place those there. Down here we are gonna have our soul sand here and then a magma block here. The soul sand will push, uh, push us up and in the water and this will push us down or pull us down. I wasn't sure if I wanted this one over so we didn't have this extra pillar. But I think if we place these like so and then some stairs cross like this, I think this might actually look fairly decent. Especially maybe if we add another pillar sticking out here and then doing the same thing. I think this could actually look kind of neat. Yeah, and then maybe increase the platform or something. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like this actually. I'm gonna just place these here for decoration. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. And we can then just take the doors out, like so, and then just boop boop. Then they open that way. But you know what? I I don't mind that much actually. And then this here could be a mess if we want pressure plates, but I th I think. I can live with it because I always turn around when I go through my door to check if it's closed or not anyways. So I think we can live with it. Now I just need to move this back a bit. You know what, we'll get back to that. Right now this is most important. So this works perfect. 
Now, if we go through here, we just got to basically dig straight up, which you don't really want to do in Minecraft, but we're going to do it anyways. Oh, can I just reach it? Almost? Nope. Got to go up a little bit. Wow, this is higher up than I thought. Almost. There we go. Oh, it's nighttime. See, this is why you don't want to do this. Both in nighttime, but also you don't want to dig straight up. Because that can happen. There could have been a creeper up there and then went down here and exploded. This is why I want the doors here. Because we won't actually have any doors up there. So this will be our security. And yeah, we just got to make sure that, that it's light enough up there. That things won't spawn. And we should be good. So um, yeah, we should be fine on that bit. So I'm going to need more water. I believe I have that up there. Let's go up and actually build the receive. I like that the receiving end of this place because I wanted to have a little bit. I wanted to have a little bit of a thing that kind of surrounds it, just to protect us a little bit until we get out here. And I'm not really too too afraid that things will spawn because we have this place okay lit up, so it's not my biggest concern at the moment. It could be better, but you know what? It's simple. It's fine. We don't need it to be more complicated. So let us just get some planks here. There we go. Get rid of this. Put this around. Just, just something simple here. I will have to admit it is not the prettiest thing I have ever built in Minecraft, but I'm not going to say it's that bad either. It serves a purpose and you know what? It works. We get up and uh, yeah, we don't, to be honest, we don't even need the doors here, to be honest with you. I might just remove them actually, but we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see. Um, yeah, yeah, let's just remove them. Okay, so this is what I have come up with as the final result. It's not the prettiest, but you know what? It's fine. We don't need the doors here, I don't think, because I think this place is pretty well lit up. If not, well, then we'll find out. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll just have to light some of some more torches and stuff. And I think I think we'll be fine. Right now, I just gotta there we go. Go down and uh, replace all of this with um, birch plank. So I'll see you after that. We'll go to the Nether. We'll get some magma blocks, and we should well be good to go. And the final block. Boop. There we go. Now the shaft looks. A lot prettier. Now I just gotta. Mm, yes, we can actually. Do we have extra water around here? No, we don't. Or do we? Yes, we do. Okay, so let me just place the water and we'll get the kelp down. So place water here. That'll go down. We need one more water to the other side and that will float all the way down. We'll place the kelp, we'll make the kelp grow. I think you can just right click on top of each other and it will grow like I did. It's a fishing hut and all the water, all the blocks should be made into actual water sources. So we can actually just go down, pressing shift. And I'm actually going to do that. And as you can see, this is not working because all of it needs to be real water sources. So we can do that by using the kelp. And I have to actually float all the way up here and place kelp. The kelp will make it all into water sources like so. And we can break it all again because now it's done, I think. Okay, we cannot place it on soul sand. We need to get rid of the soul sand first. Do that. And we should be able to place the soul sand now. There we go. And it works. I was scared that it wouldn't that it wouldn't work for a bit there. Cool. So that is now pushing everything up. Now I do want it to the right actually. There we go. Cool. Our magma block will then go there. We can now go up super fast and boop, we're out. Perfect. Now we just need the thing that takes us down fast enough. Okay, we are back here with our magma block. Let's go down and install it because then we will be done. Do that and do that and there we go. Cool. So I guess let me just clear my inventory. 
All right, well, I guess it's um testing time. So we go through, we go up, and we get pushed out. There we go. Wonderful. Now we're done farming. We're going down. Opening door, getting down, and boom. Boom back up. And boom. Done. You know what? It functions really, really well. I am happy with this result. It's not the prettiest building I've ever built. But you know what? It serves its purpose and it is actually, I think, you know what? I'm a little bit happy about it. It's small, it's compact, and yet it is still, I think, pretty cool. I like it. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet and enable those notifications. Be sure to join my Discord server link down below and follow me on Twitter as well, link down below in the description. And also be sure to follow me on Twitch, link down below in, this, in the description as well. But yep, that's gonna do it for this episode. Not that door. Let's go through for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.